Now, have you ever wondered why your fatigue often goes hand in hand with flu-like symptoms, a sore throat, swollen glands, feeling hot and generally really unwell? Today, we'll explore how an activated immune system can actually contribute to your persistent fatigue. When our body detects a threat like a virus or a bacterial infection, the immune system springs into action. This response involves us releasing signaling molecules called cytokines, which help to coordinate our defense against invaders. However, in some cases, this immune response doesn't shut off as it should, and this can result in a prolonged immune activation status, chronic inflammation, and then eventual immune suppression, which have all three been linked to ongoing and persistent fatigue. In fact, recent research found that individuals with conditions like ME-CFS and long COVID exhibit signs of immune exhaustion. And this is because they have a persistently activated immune state. Another study from the NIH suggests that certain immune cells in ME-CFS patients appeared to be in a constant state of immune activation, and this resulted in a drain on their body's energy reserves. I always ask my clients to imagine their energy in a bucket and where there is immune activation at play, imagine a hole in the side of that bucket with energy draining away. And this is because your body will always prioritize triaging energy to your immune defense systems. In fact, when immune T cells are activated during an infection, they will demand between 30 to 50% of our ATP resources. ATP is essentially our energy fuel, so you can understand how impactful this will be on your overall energy spend. Now, chronic immune activation doesn't just affect us by stealing our energy resources. It also negatively impacts on how we make energy in the first place. And this is because the mitochondria themselves actually have a central role to play in our immune defense systems. So when the mitochondria are enlisted into their immune defense role, they do not make optimal levels of energy for us anymore. So now in this situation, we're making less energy in the mitochondria and spending more energy in the immune system. And crucially, this leads to a deficit in our energy bank account. And of course, that leads to increased fatigue. So recognizing the role of the immune system in chronic fatigue can really help us in developing targeted therapies and interventions. And that's exactly what we do here at OHC. By exploring and mapping out your current immune challenges, we can design tailored protocols which aim to reduce prolonged immune activation and allow for improvements in how you make and spend your energy in the body. So what triggers the immune system to remain activated in the first place? There are various triggers that we can explore as part of our clinical work in this area. And these might include chronic infections, such as Epstein-Barr virus, Borrelia, and herpes viruses, to name just a few. Damage to your gastrointestinal lining, resulting in leaky gut or increased intestinal permeability, can trigger an immune response throughout the whole body. Food sensitivities, including gluten and dairy intolerances. Exposure to toxins such as mold, mycotoxins, heavy metals, pesticides and pollutants. Autoimmune conditions, insomnia or disrupted sleep patterns, and even chronic stress and a dysregulated nervous system can all result in immune disruption. Now, do any of those factors feel applicable to you? If so, do not worry, we are here to help. And if you would like to find out more about how our clinical approaches at OHC can help you, do visit our website to book a free discovery call.